Hello, I'm Mr. Franklin and welcome back. We're going to continue with our kinetic energy by solving kinetic energy problems looking for mass. You can follow along with the document and if you'll scroll down with the attached document you'll find a thing that says finding mass and we'll begin with our example. An egg drop from the second floor balcony has a speed of 10 meters per second just before it hits the ground and has a kinetic energy of 0 0.343 joules. What is the mass of the egg? So I've gone ahead and drawn our picture. I've got a cliff. I've got my egg. It drops with an, we have an energy of 0 0.343 joules. Its velocity when it reaches the, almost hits the ground is 10 meters per second. I do my known, unknown, known, unknown formula. My knowns, I know my kinetic energy is 0 0.343 joules. I know my velocity is 10 meters per second. I do not know my mass. Um, something that some people might try to stick in there is the acceleration due to gravity, which is not wrong, but it is unnecessary to solve the problem, so I'm not going to put it. K equals, our formula, K equals 1 half mv squared, so I'm going to plug in some values. K is 0 0.343 joules equals a half. I do not know my mass, that's what I'm looking for, and V is 10, so 10 squared. 10 times 10 is 100, times m times a half equals 0 0.343 joules. Half of 100 is 50, so 50m equals 0 0.343 joules. Divide both sides by 50, and you will get a mass. Let's check it in the calculator. So... 0 0.343 joules divided by 50 equals 00686. So our mass equals 0 0.00686 kilograms, which is about 6 grams. It's a pretty small egg. Okay. So you have some more practice problems. Go ahead and try those real quick. Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to be looking for velocity. And I'm using a problem from previous. So if we add 10 people to our bullet train, so in, a, in other words, our mass is going to be 1,000 kilograms plus the original mass of 3,000 for a total of, so 1,000 plus 3,000 for a total of 4,000 kilograms. Okay. Our train can still only produce 135 million, kilo, or 135 million joules, and we have our mass of 4,000 kilograms. What is the new velocity? Okay, so our equation is still the same. K equals 1 half mv squared. So we plug in our K of 135 million joules equals 1 half. Our mass is 4,000. And we're looking for v squared. So half of 4,000 is 2,000, which equals 135 million. And we're going to divide both sides by 2,000, which means we're going to get, let's see, 6750 and a bunch of zeros. Minus three zeros here, so one, two, three, or just two. So let's check our calculator. So 135 million divided by 2,000, 67,500. 67,500 is what I had, but that's still equal to V squared. We're not looking for V squared, we're looking for V. So I have to square root both sides. Be careful when you're using one of these uh, basic calculators because sometimes all you have to do is hit the, uh, the square root function and it tells you right off the bat. And in other calculators, that would be a mistake. So just be careful of what order you're going to do that in and know how your calculator is working. 259. So V equals 259. 
0.81 meters per second. Okay. So really this problem is no different than the others. We just have to be careful of our V squared. Okay. I always try to do a does that make sense check. Um, 25 squared is 625 with an extra zero. That would be 60, 62,500-ish. So we're in the right ballpark. Okay. If you got a number bigger than 67,500, you might have squared it by accident. So just do a check and make sure you're doing your calculations correct. Okay, try those next two problems, and I'll see you again in our next video.